Italian beef sandwich is an iconic staple of this city. And on this show, we've never been to Bona Beef. They've got a bunch of them around Chicagoland. And they pay homage, they do it real, they do it legit like everywhere else. But they also have fun modernized versions of it. So today we're gonna do some cheesy beefs. Very that's excited. That's right guys, and we also wanted to do a, do a fun merch shout out for Joel Henriquez, who bought one of our framed shirts that we sold. We autographed some of our old hamburger logo shirts, framed them up, sent him, and he also in that same purchase bought Four bottles of uh, hotter six sauce. So he was just like, bro, let's support <laughs> Throwing these boys. down. So uh, thanks, Joel, uh, for supporting us. And if you guys want to support us, you can get your own shout out. Just go to number six with cheese.com, snag up some merch, and uh, enjoy yourself. It's awesome, awesome stuff we got on there. Time for some cheesy beefs. Number six with cheese from Bona, acquired jump cut. Let's go in deeper. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Whoa, okay, okay. And there we go. We got ourselves an Italian beef. The uh, meat is dripping out. We've got jardinera on top. We've got the beef in the middle, and there's some cheese underneath. It's looking delicious, and it smells even better, guys. That looks damn good. It does. It smells great. So if you're an Italian Catholic, when you get baptized, do you do it in gravy? I'm assuming then? <laughs> Whoa, olives? Never seen that in Jardinera before. Oh wow, yeah, me neither. And then real quick on the big camera, because we got it, there's mine, exact same thing. You can see a green olive poking out for some reason. But here we go. All right, bone of beef, cheesy. Cheers. Oh, that's juicy. Wow. Okay. Damn, I like that a lot. That tastes pretty good. I like that it's got pub cheese on it. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. damn, that's good. Bread's good. Yeah, that Toronto bread is no joke. It stays crispy, mm -hmm. despite being juicified. I like the green, I mean, I'm a big olives guy. I love the green olives in Jardinera. I don't feel like I've ever had that before. I dig that. Wow, this is like even better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. The flavor is all there, man. Wow. For being cheap beef, they brought the flavor. It really did. How much were these bad boys, do you know, offhand by chance? So it was $23 for two, so 11.50ish. Okay. Was that did you was that counting tip or not tip? Not counting okay, tip. Okay, perfect, perfect. So, yeah, like I tipped when we went in there, but if you just go in and pick it up and you know order at the counter or whatever, yeah. This is a I think this is a bigger one. There's a smaller one too, I think there was. There's like three sizes. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's a good go, size. It's a great size sandwich. For you said but basically 11 bucks ish. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't bad, dude, and it's filled. Like meat was spilling out when I opened it. It's I mean, this is a good this is going to fill you up. Yesterday we got the eight-inch Jimmy John sandwich for ten bucks. Mm -hmm. so this is like way more food and it's local mm -hmm. and way tastier. Yeah. <laughs> I like that they did the thing where, sure, like Italian beefs are done a certain way for hundreds of years, whatever. I like that they did a modern thing on it. Me they, too. they got a saucy one too right now, so they're doing two promos. The other one had like marinara, provolone cheese. It was almost like an Italian sub mixed with uh, an Italian beef. I just like the options. I like that you go there and it's like not just an Italian beef and that's all you can get. Yeah. Like it's fun being able to like, I don't choose something different. I today. agree. So it's kind of like giving me Philly cheesesteak vibes a little bit on some of the bites at the bottom. Well, that's I think why I like it so much. <laughs> yeah. Because so, that's a better sandwich. I mean, if you think about it, it's just like, a thin cut steak, mm -hmm. Italian beef and the Philly cheesesteak, there's a huge difference in flavor. Right. But in terms of what it is, when you boil it down to it, it's really not that too different a sandwich. No, they're not too, too different. Although Philly cheesesteaks are a thousand times more delicious than Italian beefs. I have to agree. <laughs> I'm like blown away though by how much like meat is on this sandwich and just like, look at that bite. Those cheesy bites, I mean that is like a nice bite of a sandwich right there. I actually like this a lot better than a lot of the local spots. I do too. Which is surprising because this is kind of a fast foodish mm -hmm. type version of Italian beef, but yep. it just it tastes really good. I got a buddy out in Denver who is from Chicago originally, and the place he misses most is Bona Beef. Mm, really? He was like, have you and Corey done Bona yet? Yet? I'm like, no, I is it good? He's like, oh my god. And I was like, I don't feel like a lot of people ever suggested it to me. It's so good. Yeah, I never really heard of it. Great branding too. I mean that place in there was gorgeous. You can get beer. <laughs> Be a good little spot. This is in Streeterville, so this is like just a little little east of like the main drag of downtown. If you're staying down here and you want a good beef, bona baby. Kinda just shows, no offense Chicago, 
You know I love your food. You're the best food city in the United States of America. It shows how dumb their staples are. How are you not putting cheese on this already? I know, I agree 100%. I put cheese on everything I make, I feel like. This is also the sandwich that it works, like cheese works so well with it. Like, yeah. It, it enhances all the flavors of everything. It makes the jarred better, it makes the meat better, it makes the bread better, the eating consistency, like there's more of a creaminess to it. Weird decisions they make with food in this city. I don't, I don't, I don't know about them. Take some of that cheese off that deep dish and put it on these. Well, some of the best jardinera I've ever had. I wonder if they make their own. I wonder if they have bona beef jarred. This is a greasy, I mean, it's a tiny beef, of course it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of liquids. Juicified. God, you're not kidding, dude. This looks like this This whole paper was dipped in the juice. Yeah, that thing gets soaking. <laughs> Ooh, these are some good napkins. Let's keep those. Damn, that was delicious, guys. Uh, we want to remind you guys real quick. Damn, guys, that was super tasty. Uh, we want to re remind you guys real quick to like the video. It really helps out a lot. And subscribe to the channel. Also, quick question for you. We'll be commenting down in the comments along with you. What would you put on an Italian beef to make it more delicious than the Italian beef? They got cheese on this one. Let's see what the other ideas are we're excited to hear your guys' thoughts. And now let's rate the sandwich as we press on and find out what's so delicious about it or not out of five. God damn, this no guy wonder is dropping all... so many Amazon There's packages. one, two, three, four, five dropped packages out here. Look at how jam-packed that van is too, by the way. <laughs> if you get anything broken down in River North, you'll you'll know why. It's from this dude. <laughs> He's not doing it subtly. Old Gary with glasses over here just letting things drop. Out of five damaged Amazon packages, how many damaged Amazon packages do you give the 1150? I think it was like a 10 or 11 inch bone of beef with the cheesiness, Corey. Man, I'm really stoked on that. Not only was it the right price, the right flavor, built great, but I love the addition of cheese and I like that there's a variety there you can go in. You don't have to be just like, I guess I gotta eat Italian right. beef. You can go ahead and experiment, try different versions of it and get something great. I think it was an awesome sandwich. I'm really impressed by it. I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with a four. I think it was really good. Not that, quite no, no, I, that's Johnny's good... beef level, but damn right. Good. Johnny's and Mr. Beef, I think, still have better meat. Yeah. But they you can't put cheese on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that that was absolutely incredible. That is like kind of reinvigorated my like thought of Italian beef sandwiches. Like they have those all around the suburbs and stuff too. So if you're near one of these and never gotten it, snag it. I was thinking just to scooch over four, I'm going 4.25. Wow, look at that. I'm blown away by how they made that sandwich. I think it was fantastic. Um, guys, excited to chat with you in the comments here today. Thank you for watching the show. Another local video again tomorrow here on Number Six with Cheese. I hope all your Amazon packages come fully unscathed, and we'll see you very, very shortly for another one of these videos. Goodbye, guys.